Well, I think this is a turning point in uh, modern medicine in many ways, actually. There's never been a time in my life, or probably anyone who's alive, where medicine was the front page news every day. Even in the early HIV era, where it seemed like this is going to be an, a lethal end for millions of people. Well, most people did not feel personally, many people did not feel personally affected. And so this is front page news. And this is our, we better do it right. I am not only, I'm in some ways always encouraged by the notion of uh, open debate. People will see if we are honest and it goes well. People will see how, how it works. That when, by, by rational, honest discussion and, you know, going, going for the data solves the problem. And they'll see that that is, I think my hope is that they'll see that that is different than kind of polemical uh, ill-informed um, and biased um, ways of ways of approach, approaching things. So my hope is that we do focus on getting better vaccines. Uh, I don't. I think we need need a great vaccine. I don't think we're going to be giving booster shots every two years for the next forty years. That seems almost inconceivable that people will do that. I, that's not how we ended smallpox. We got a great vaccine that works forever and darn near forever and that was the end of that and we got it into everybody and so i think this is a turning point we need to, we need to figure out how to make these vaccines last longer and be a little more and be broader but that should be doable and we try to break with how good these vaccines are now and um we got to do it right dr yang sign of hope <laughs> i tend to be by nature a pessimist though. <laughs> um, uh, but I, I would agree with those statements. I mean, I, I you know, th there is a, a, a lot of reason for hope. Um, and I think one of, hopefully one of the silver linings that will be that this will underscore how important basic science research into viruses and the immune system is. And, you know, to the point of having vaccines that will last longer, my feeling is that that's going to require real huge breakthrough in understanding the immune system. Because at right now, what vaccines do is to have the body react in the way that it's going to react normally to, to an infection by giving a proxy for that infection, right? And so, yes, people that have had measles are protected from measles the rest of their life. People that have had smallpox were protected from having smallpox the rest of their life, pretty much. But this SARS-CoV-2... Uh, if it's similar to the, some of the common coronaviruses that cause the common cold, uh, we know that for those viruses, herd immunity is, does not exist, and people become susceptible to reinfection usually within a year after the prior infection. And so the, the problem may not be the vaccine itself, uh, but rather the immune system just not, for whatever reason, not having a prolonged response. Uh, and so I, I hope that we will be able to focus on understanding these issues.